Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. A family in mourning is threatening to take legal action against the Spanish Town Hospital in St. Catherine for causing the body of a relative to be held in storage for more than a year because it failed to issue a burial order. Damfell Daly Morris, a sister of the deceased 67-year-old Winston Daly, said the hospital has been giving the family the runaround since April 2018. Senior Deputy Director of Public Prosecutions Jeremy Taylor is calling for more to be done to prevent sex crimes. In the recently concluded Hillary term of the Home Circuit Court, only 91 sex cases were disposed of, another 1,024 were carried over to the Easter term. Come next month, Jamaica will export its first shipment of mangoes to the United States. Agriculture Minister Audley Shaw says the shipment is being facilitated through the Mango Irradiation Program. Overseas, U.S. measles cases have climbed to their highest level in 25 years, largely because misinformation is turning parents against vaccines. New York City health officials on Wednesday reported 61 new cases since last week, pushing this year's national tally past the 667 cases reported for all of 2014. In sports, opener Chris Gale heads a powerful batting lineup that sees the return of fellow left-hander Evan Lewis with Kimar Roach and Shannon Gabriel leading an exciting bowling attack in the preliminary West Indies squad for the ICC Cricket World Cup 2019, England and Wales. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $134.42, the British pound sterling for $176.74, and the Canadian dollar for $102.41. In your weather forecast, on Thursday morning, there will be isolated showers across sections of eastern parishes. In the afternoon, expect widely scattered showers, mainly across sections of central and western parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.